Welcome everybody to my good luck, have fun or duplo tally deck. This is a pure fun deck that I built around Simwan Duplimency and I spent so much time into this deck. I think the whole week went up on it and the many many wild cards to just make these things happen and it's still not competitive so don't think you're gonna go on the ladder and destroy people but you can definitely have a lot of fun in the play queue but also maybe um, in with some adjustments in the rank queue because I tried it in rank I have slightly negative win rate I think like 5-6 or something uh, but in the play queue is really really interesting to play as long as we're not facing hardcore removals or hardcore control players uh, but uh, enough about the current meta Let's talk about the deck and this 4 mana beautiful enchantments. Vuzivan Duplimency, 4 mana, as I already mentioned, whenever you cast a uh, spell that targets only a single artifact or a creature you control, create a token of that uh, copy or of artifact creature, except it's not legendary. Then I thought what would be so cool to cast or to copy, of course, our Italy. And this is just where things start rolling, because when we copy the Italy, Italy, find something that we can again point on our creature, on our Italy, in this case, with our one mana spells that again creates copies of Italy and you see maybe how this will snowball into a really really fun way to just win the games on the spot, especially if one of our Italys will find our recruiter, 3 mana, 2-2 two, two, that says whenever it enters the battlefield all our creatures get plus 1 plus 0 oh, and haste, it means suddenly you attack maybe with 4 or 5, depends when you find your recruiter, um, <laughs> 4 or 5 Italys, I had these games, um, to a opponent's face and of course win on the spot and, uh, and don't forget you play also stuff from your opponent so usually you have other things that can attack um, but it's just a really really fun way uh, to close out the games and uh, to play our Italy a little bit earlier also with our um, Vizuvan here I run here really interesting two drops that got available with Wilds of Eldrain. This is one time the Raging Battle Mouse, three copies of because I didn't have the four copy um, and four copies of Charming Scoundler. I crafted all of them um, because Arena didn't want to give it to me so I needed to craft them because I think it is a future proof creature that will be really really powerful not only because it's a two mana consistent ramp it's also plays in a blink synergy really good it also plays in boros reanimation really good so i think this creature overall has um value in many decks so if you haven't crafted and you are on the edge crafted or not do it definitely do it and you see maybe my camera is a little bit closer because i noticed in my last video i sounded weird because the room is also pretty empty as i mentioned we moved recently and we are still in progress of um assembling everything and doing everything so just if you wonder why do you see my face so big because i want to make smr videos in the future so you can lie back relax and play some magic <laughs> charming scounder yeah amazing card as i said if you can Craft it, um, it will fit in a lot of different archetypes, not only jank but also competitive. Uh, Drake to find more cards or to draw more cards, of course, to find our combos and the one mana spots. I don't think I need to mention we, uh, um, too, too many times. For the mana base, 24 lands, very basic. Maybe I thought sometimes to cut some lands, maybe some adjustments. As I said, I didn't try to make this deck super competitive. I tried to make this deck like lean back, relax, have some fun while you are farming your dailies or whatever, because this deck is able to cast really much spells only in single game so this is one of the best ways to complete your dailies if you have a daily for red spells for blue spells or for i don't know attack with uh, 25 million creatures this is what you can do with this deck but with this being said if you have any suggestions for this deck to make it maybe more um rank proof let me know i will definitely try it out i'm not scared to play these decks in rank uh, but for now we're gonna go in a play queue and enjoy some beautiful italis and here we are against Bronze Hero with our beautiful Italy and this is a terrible hand, I mean, we go second, if we draw from the top a blue land, I, my opponent is still struggling. Just give it to me, my friend. This is how some games go, also in the play queue, right? Happens. And here we are against Relegated, let's hope our opponent is a little less aggro. A few moments later. I think I'm dead, right? I think I'm dead. I'm dead. Mech forever. Let's hope this opponent doesn't kill me on turn three instantly. 
A few moments later. I'm just joking. <laughs> I can live with it. I can live with it. And sure, sure. Can play the Drake. Let's see if we draw a red source. We should draw a red source. Our deck is mainly in red. Ooh, my opponent here with the Triumph. So we are not going to be that, be that on turn three. This is already very good. Very nice. You can hear some coffee in the Another try. My opponent is. Uh, whatchamacallit? No reason to hold back the Drake, by the way, because I don't have the land to be 100% sure I can keep the sleep out the back on my Drake. So my opponent is Domain Ramp. Jesus, I can play also rank to this, it looks like today, huh? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Um, let's play the sticky finger. This will create me some treasures. Draw me some cards. Let's play research. Draw more cards. An attack. Treasure and a card. Uh, let's play you just in case he plays the rampy rampy thingy. You create a treasure to protect myself. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. Right? Because now we have still protection, we slip out the back. My opponent has the um, battle that ramps him, uh, so he can instantly attack with a stomper. Resolve, my friend, resolve. So far, everything looks good for our. I turn. Other land, sure. See what we draw here. <clears throat> Give me my duplicity. Yep. Psh, psh, psh. Shoot. Okay, let's play you. How to play? And uh, draw a card, discard a card. We don't need this land. Combat research again. Let's play another Drake. Why not, right? Like in this spot, we don't need to. We don't need to be careful with creature. Although he can have the domain sweeper. But uh, slip out the back is a face out, so he will kill three of them and the rest is okay. We're gonna draw a card of it. Um, the question is which one do I save? Right? Most likely the Drake that. Um, I care. Looks like he has this domain sweeper, right? Looks like it. I think I will protect this Drake because I want to draw two extra cards. Oh, some for. Some for exiles. So let's face you out. Draw a card. It's okay. Two mana left. But to mana he can activate this one. Jesus, this is a lot of lands here. Combat research. Astral, okay. Give me my diplomacy. Do you know what will happen if I draw my my plus one? Hey, finally. Hey, finally. Oof. Let's first attack because now that we have shore up. Show my friend. Doesn't matter. Another card. Another card. I think theoretically I can play you and then this one, right? It will be my. Ah, no, I, I, I spelled already my second spell, so I cannot play the mouse. And we're gonna end the turn. I think now my opponent knows what's up, what is going on, and if I see it right, we can start the shenanigans next turn already. Yeah. Yeah. Can start the shenanigans next turn already. I have five, six mana, and he has seven, eight, so it will be enough to Italy and shore up, and then start just this nonsense from happening, and most likely finish my opponent. Um, because it will be difficult for him. Okay. Draw two cards. Uh, sticky finger. 
slip out the back and the uh, red. Okay. okay. And now you're gonna see the nonsense that is happening here. So, play you, play Italy. Italy say exile and play. And we're gonna slip out the back. Because we pointed it, we create another Italy. <laughs> uh, Astralanger on Italy. And you as a thingy. Italy comes in. Another Italy. Another you. Take out you. Until we find out the haste creature, no? I'm gonna keep you. Another one of you and another one of you. <laughs> I mean, you see what's happening, right? Shore up on you. Migrate the herd. Bloop, 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 bloop. Astralanger on you. On you. Don't wanna decimate my opponent too much. Another one, Suvon. This one declined, don't need to. Take away. Another draw. Ah, here he is. Uh, I keep you. Uh, and can we do it again, please? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it gives me a nice. Yes. Yes. Uh, create a treasure token. Create a treasure token. A sticky finger on her. Briefcase. Sure. Uh, create a treasure token. Create a treasure token. The rest we're gonna decline. Uh, create a treasure token. Create a treasure token. <laughs> it's just escalating from here on. It's just no, no fun anymore. Create a treasure. Create a treasure. Play you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But at least he stayed here, right? Let's go. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you like it, and I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs> you see this nonsense? This is what's gonna happen if my opponent don't kill me on turn 3. But, but this is what I mean. You can finish dailies how you want, because look how many creatures we have, look how bored the state... And I could go forever, like, forever, ever. Um, but yeah, this is what this deck should do. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let's go into the next one. And here we are against Yorick. Um, interesting hand, but not what I was looking for. And I don't have early creatures. I go second, so we need some drakes or some some charmings, or some rats. I mean, rats are not really important here. We need card selection, card draw. This is what rats and uh, charming do, or rats, drakes and uh, charmings do. Uh, we can discard and draw cards, we can ramp with treasures and so on. So we're gonna mulligan here and hope for something better. Nothing better, the win condition is here. But I don't want to mulligan again, so let's keep it. Let's put one demo into the into the library. The fox found the hole. Oh, no, but, but it's okay, it's okay. That's okay, actually, yeah. Okay. Opponent on Boros. Boros with one end. Um, maybe play with fire in the hand? Maybe. Next turn, Sticky Finger because it doesn't get discounted. And then... Uh... Ah, Mardu. Nice. Nice, Mardu. So, let's go here. Let's attack. Play the treasure. With the treasure we can play the Diplomacy. Yeah, this is possible sometimes with the red. Red is good to, to ramp. Um, also, especially if you have multiple of it, right? It discounts second spell each time for each red here. So sometimes you can cast Italy like for three, four mana. Um, if you have like already 
few reds. Like here, for example, now if we copy the red, of course the next spell will be cheaper, so we can play the uh, Divon or just uh, two mana. Mm -hmm. We cannot copy the red, but it's okay, we're gonna attack. And we're gonna play one more Divon. Could have go for more damage, but I'm not here to kill my opponent with a damage, right? I'm here to Italy. <laughs> Italy. My cafe is almost over. Yurik, Yurik, Yurik has difficulties with mana. Sadly, I would like to see his deck um, played mostly um, normal. And it looks like he has some removal for enchantments. This is why game give, game give me two enchantments, uh, two of my this one, three mana. Okay, he hits his land. So Mardu, Mardu. Ooh, ooh, give me the card. Hmm, Senor. Don't mind me if I do. Oh. Um. So let's see what we draw, right? From our astral anger. And don't forget we create two of them. There's a lot of damage too, right? And I land. Okay. I I kill him now, right? Yeah, yeah. I kill him, Rook. I kill him. Good game, my friend. Good game. Sometimes it goes like this. I'm sorry. What should I do? Thank you. <laughs> Minus 11. I mean, he, he suffered a little bit on mana. I'm sorry, Yorick. Um, I would have loved to see your deck. Um, but this is also a possibility. And this is why, why I, I like this deck. So 4 mana, it is 3 mana. So usually if we have another spell, we can um, really escalate really fast. Um, let's go next. Hope the opponent draws his lands. Makina with a beautiful Atraxa. Opponent goes first. Jesus, did I went a single game first? In this universe, doesn't look like it, right? Doesn't look like it. Play the red to see if my opponent has a removal for it. Let's see. Looks like, or maybe a counter spell. Maybe a counter spell. Rats. Rats. Yes, he has a removal for it. Okay. And uh, let's see if Chandrosa get. Get a counter or removal or whatever. Counter spell. Oh, wow. Oh, give me an applause. <claps> applause, Makina. Up the beanstalk. Cool card, by the way. Cool card. But uh, I'm going to show you a pretty competitive deck with this card. Um, then let's play you. Let's play you for one. Let's play you. On the Drakey. My opponent has some fall or something, so I'm doing it up front. <sighs> wow. Okay. Turn red can buff if you have celebration, but this is just a side effect that is uh, there. Right? It's not so important. So we don't have a treasure to produce the white mana, and now we do. Um, let's create a treasure token. And let's create Chuta. I'm not far from Italy, right? So let's play for the Italy. The problem is that my opponent has also... My opponent has also um, counter spells, so Italy would die. Mm. Sleep out the back, you say. Uh, let's see. Wandering Emperor? Most likely Wandering Emperor. Mm. Wandering Emperor is predicted, Makina. There's nothing new. Nothing new. I have Celestia control deck with Beanstalk um, and Wandering Emperor. Nine. Nine. Just nine out of ten. <laughs> nine out of ten play. Please use your mana. Please use all your mana and I draw land. This is a good, good, good way, good way, good way. 
um, to use all your mana, your mana left. I mean, at this point, I don't need um, both of these creatures. This is why we didn't play it now, because who knows, right? My opponent is trying to survive. Bam! Oof. Now give me, give me a land, please, game. I have 24 lands. 24 lands, 5, 6, 7, yeah. I have one land, one land. One land. One single land, and Makina sees a wonderful... Don't tell me you have 25 bindings here. Answer for everything. Here we have a land. Here we have an Italy. Let's see what my Italy gonna hit. Boom, boom, boom. Another Drake and nothing from my opponent. Um, no, we don't need anything from here. Let's see if my opponent has more removal spells. He does. Good. So a lot of removal spells that my opponent draw here. But it happens. This way I don't play rank with it because people there are very, very explicit with their removal spells. Do, 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 do. My washing machine is ready, it says. Oh, draw me two, please. Imagine now the one, the one, the one double metamacity on the board. Bam, bam. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for three. Another Wandering Emperor. It will fizzle, right? Yeah, it will fizzle. It will fizzle out. So you learn also something in this game, most likely. Because now the adventure, yeah, it fizzles out and he loses the creature. We always learn something, even if we play for fun, right? So this is how you can play around a a adventures. Counterspell? Most likely, right? Uh, I hate his counterspells, but okay. Counterspell this map. Yeah. Nice, my friend, nice. He played for six to draw cards with Beanstalk, right? So, just in case you're wondering what's happening here. Mm, let's play the Drakey. Let's see if he has another counterspell. So, his main condition is just a thingy or what? Just a Loch Ness monster? Looks like it, right? Our last Italy, by the way. So let's see, my opponent Wandering Emperor. Oh no, Loch Ness monster, okay. The Loch Ness monster. This is his win condition, right? So control the game and uh, um, Loch Ness monster. But I think against another control opponent, he has difficulties, like to be honest. Loch Ness monster is not uncountable. Not. And uh, nothing where I would say, wow, this is dangerous, what you're doing there, right? But okay. Let's act like there was nothing. But most likely he has another syncopate. Another wandering emperor, okay. Now you've done it. That's coming off. Mm, let's play the Italis. He has something else sticking there. Oh, okay. Slip out the back. Okay. I have. I, I don't have the Dumon. I don't need a counter spell. So he's like a fool with counter spells, right? Like how often did I hit now on the counter spell? Don't even wanna know. But I think this game is dances, no? Like dances. Uh, March of the Light, 
will extend the Anthony, draw him two cards, and then he can go for a lot of damage. Yeah. So this, this is a done scene, but this will be our last because you saw almost everything. We won with Italy, we won without Italy, we lost in turn three. Um, yeah. So, uh, good game, my friend. And negates you. Makina, it was so much fun to play against you. I cannot even describe the excitement that I have inside me with your full sleeves. Um, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoy yourself as much as I enjoy you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this deck, with some tweaking, some twerking, <laughs> maybe it could be something in the rank here, right? Like, if we can find a way to hit the consistency. I first try to add Brothers Who End, but then... The deck loses the purpose, right? Like against aggro. Um, but I also then, yeah, we sweep the board and then sometimes we draw just land, sometimes we don't draw what we need. So we need some sort of consistency um, in um, maybe a board sweep that can also be a targeted spell, something like this, right? Like I don't know what will be there possible, maybe with some adventure cards. But I spent so much time already in this deck um, that I don't want to go further with it because somewhere i just hit my wall right the ceiling so if you have any suggestions for this deck let me know i will ha be happy to try it out because i think the idea is really cool um it's really interesting also something that i haven't saw so far uh people really playing never encountered this deck to be honest nobody plays this deck um but uh nonetheless maybe we can do something cool um otherwise we throw this deck away um, and we go next because I'm also currently trying to build this Drain Witch um, deck and uh, there is also going a lot of wild cards and a lot of time into it. Um, but nonetheless, tell me what you think about the uh, audio quality and um, I hope you enjoy it, I hope you like it and I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao!